மாதிரி சார் ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணிடலாம் சார் குட் ஈவினிங் எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் தி ஈவெண்ட் வெபினார் ஆன் RF for future wireless communications it's my pleasure to welcome and introduce our chief guest of the event ms rm sendil priya ms rm sendil priya is an assistant professor in the department of electronics and communication engineering at rmd engineering college she completed be ece in the year of 2008 at dr sivandi adithnar college of engineering and mtech degree in embedded system technology at srm university in the year 2012 she is pursuing phd and at anna university in the area of flexible and wearable antennas she has 13 years of teaching experience she acted as resource person for various events she presented and published more papers in reputed national and international journals and conferences thank you very much ma'am for accepting our invitation to share your knowledge with us please everyone switch on your video switch on your video for small photo session thank you sir thank you ma'am good evening sir amish please everyone switch on your video for photo okay thank you all now i hand over the session to the chief guest ms arak sendil priya ma'am you share yes sir Yes, sir. Whether my screen is visible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Visible, ma'am. You start, ma'am. Yes, sir. So, good evening, everyone. So, this is Sandal Priya, student professor, ACC of RMD Engineering College. So, today I'm going to discuss about RF for future wireless communication. Right. So, this is the overview of this session. So, I'm going to start with what is RF and why do we use it, and what is the relation of RF and wireless communication. and we are going to review on antenna and types and the future trends in wireless technologies and the what about the introduction of flexible electronics and uh, why we are going to go for flexible antennas then uh, flex application of flexible antennas then we are going to discuss about future technology in wireless devices as well as the scope in wireless communication so first what is rf and why do we use it right so what is rf is nothing but we are going for a radio frequency where we are having an oscillation of electromagnetic waves so where we are going to use this is for transmitting and broadcasting information so here i have given an audio signal it is in the first image so you can see that that amplitude and the frequency is varying so once well, we are going to transmit a voice information so i am going to i am speaking something 
the modulation of the voice is going to have the variations amplitude and it may be have some variations in frequency also right so whatever the information it may be an audio signal whatever the a video signal whatever the information we are going to communicate without any uh, without any dielectric connections so we are going for rf okay so rf here we are going for measured in frequency as well as the wavelength and phase angles everything is going to be present and here i have mentioned the word electromagnetic so where we are going to have the electric field as well as the magnetic field so it is present in the electromagnetic radiations so what is electric field and what is magnetic field as you all know well so electric field where we are going to have a positive charged particle so the line in, in radiates outward from it and again the negatively charged particles also available so where we are going for inward charges and if we are not having any electric lines it is going to be a neutral particles as well as the moving of charged particle the moving of charged particles going to produce a magnetic field so this combination is taken as electromagnetic waves as you all the in wireless communication the technical word the electromagnetic field is going to be a word wherever we are going for wireless communication and where antennas and whatever the information transferring everywhere everywhere we can hear the word but this is what the electric field and magnetic field so where the charged particles are moving inward and outward there as well as your magnetic field is generated of moving charged particles and types of electromagnetic radiation so already it told that electromagnetic radiations we are going for amplitude frequency as well as the phase so how we are this wave is generated so because of the vibration between the electric field as well as the magnetic field that generates the oscillation in the electromagnetic waves so we have types of electromagnetic radiations so we have two types of electromagnetic radiations so one is taken as non ionization and ionization radiation so here we have uh, two different waveforms in the image so starting wavelength we can see here so we have low frequency uh, in the waveforms so which is taken as a non ionizing system so these are the sectors where we are going to have the uh, non ionizing systems and the next part is going to be a ionizing systems okay so what is non ionizing and what is the ionizing system so here we have with respect to wavelength and frequency we can calculate the non ionizing system where we are going to have a low frequency which is not harmful for human okay so that is the non ionizing system and where we are going for ionizing system it is going for high frequency range so which is harmful for human so in this two types so first we start with the low frequency value which is where we are going to use for broadcasting radio and television system and ovens uh, micro, uh, micro ovens as well as radar telephone signals and infrared so wherever we are using in infrared in lot of applications then visible light so visible light we are going for optical fiber communications and everything then ultraviolet which is absorbed by the skin and then for fluorescent tubes then the x ray so as you all know which it is in medical field which is used to inside the body of the object and gamma rays also we are using in medical field now we are it is mostly used to for uh, treating the cancer cells so this is what the electromagnetic radiation falls in two types that is non ionizing and ionizing non ionizing once again i am repeating which is not going to be harmful so it is anyway it is going to produce some radiation but it's not it's not that much harmful for the human but the ionizing it will be harmful for the human for so we are going for the specific application to be implemented and what is the relation between rf and wireless communication so we know radio waves so how we are getting this wave we are electric field and magnetic field so with respect to the charges right? so here i have given an image so how the frequency uh, instruction so i am telling hello so the hello is taken from the transmitter and here we are having an antenna so here the beacon is going to go here and the word is going to be received in the next side so here we are going to refer rf is always refer as wireless electromagnetic signal which is used to for communication in form of communication what we are discussing in the form of communication we have lot of transmission for communication for communicating so without any dielectric any transmit information from the place so we have the frequency that is from kilohertz to 300 gigahertz so 
information we are going to communicate it is taken to the transmitter to antenna and it is going to your receiver side and the frequency rate is 3 kilohertz to 300 megahertz so let's see the evolution of long distance communication so in early days also we started this long distance communication what is the necessity i have put here is so wireless communication we are going to communicate in long distance communication already we know what is communication so we are going to share information share information whatever the information we are going to share from one place to another place so we started a communication with small uh, distance then we went for long distance communication so already we have got the communication from one small distance so we did the carriers and we transmitted the signal uh, for long distance communication as well as long distance communication of communication system so first the human started communicating to smoke signals so while the signal forest has not come somewhere they use the smoke for communicating so they reach the somewhere so that is the medium the smoke the medium the first medium of long distance communication and you also uh, we can watch movies somewhere there is a region that is the information from one place to another next thing is the most core so most core we have so we just use the current system okay so whatever the information we want to communicate or whatever the communication system is not like telegram system like the fax so most core is the first generation for fax system so next we went for fax so information or anything is transferred to cell phone uh, information then we got the printouts for particular messages Again, uh, uh, going to most for next to the wireless radio. So next telephone line. Ma'am, Sindhu Priya, ma'am. Yes, am I audible, sir? Ma'am, your voice is breaking, ma'am. Your voice is breaking. Now. Ma'am. Now it is breaking us. Whether now it is clear or it is breaking. No, no, no. Breaking, ma'am. Ma'am, your oh, voice is your voice is the not much clear, ma'am. Once again, sir. Ah. Uh. Am I audible now? Still breaking, as it? Now okay, ma'am. Now okay, ma'am. We continue, ma'am. Now okay, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We continue, ma'am. Okay. Whether my screen is visible, sir? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. So once again, I repeat this evolution of long distance communication. So why I have kept this is we have have to uh, wireless communication is going for long distance communications, right? So the human start communicating with using smoke signals. Then we used uh, carrier uh, images uh, information through PGNs. Next one is Morse code system that is used for telegramming systems. So in previous days, telegram uh, is also used there. Next one is wireless radio and landline telephones. Then faxing systems. then you are all familiar with this mobile phone technologies then internet then emailing system through internet then we had uh, smartphones then what is next that i will tell you in the end of the session so this is what the evolution the long distance communication so as we know what is communication we are going to share information from one place to another so we used long distance for modulation methods we used lot of modulation methods in analog we used amplitude modulation frequency modulation again the in digital systems we went for ask psk fsk so like twice we had lot of modulation system so why we use this modulation system is we are going to communicate the signals in long distance we mix a carrier signal to carry our information safely and we transfer the information for long distance so this is what the view evolution of long distance communication so what is the advantage of wireless communication so once we are going for digital system so already we know analog as well as digital system 
So in analog system, we are going to have a continuous signal and digital system. So switching over from analog to digital is also we have a lot of application. So like we can store a lot of uh, data. So a lot of data in ones and zeros. Again, uh, we can uh, go for high speed uh, information. And one more advantage in uh, digital communication is we can have compressing the device. So compressing of the code is possible in digital, which is not possible in analog. Okay, so we can compress. That is compression, compounding is a method, uh, compression and expanding, that is possible in digital. So we can go for a uh, lot of huge data can be uh, carried, as well as we can go for error correction and reduction. So that is also possible in digital communication. So that we are going to implement, that is implemented in wireless communication also. Anyway, we are going for digitalized system. So here we have heavy data transform. So we are going to have lot of amount of information can be compressed in wireless because we are going for digitalizing the system. And we can uh, communicate in faster and high speed system is also possible here. So the next thing is we are going for uh, economical setup. So whatever the wireless system, so automatically we are going to have a transmitter session, we are going to have a receiving session, and we are going to uh, communicate the wireless medium through an antenna. Then electromagnetic waves are going to be transmitted from one place to another. So we are going to uh, save time. So wherever uh, we go, so our network follows. Likewise, so we are going to save time. So we are going for a digitalized system in all ways. Then we are maintenance. So networks maintenance also, it is going for uh, low cost. So we are not going for wiring system. So if you are going for any wiring system, we want to uh, exchange a wires and we are identifying and the service maintenance is somewhat difficult. But in wireless, we can easily maintain it. Then what is there? Disadvantage of wireless. So disadvantages, so two things on unauthorized uses. So we can have whatever the signal is going to be uh, spreading over through air. So easily we can hack the system and can, we can easily tune the particular frequency and we can identify what is uh, the information as well as the security. So this is sort the two things that's lagging in our wireless communication in current situation. So it can be, uh, it is one of the challenges also to be required in future technologies. And why we need for wireless communication. So nowadays connectivity. So connectivity is a different medium. So we have connectivity in all, all the aspects like uh, uh, connectivity in remote healthcare. Then we are going for a remote job. So work from home is there. We are having education uh, from home. So a lot of information. So the connectivity from the source to destination is increased because of the situation. So main thing is the remote healthcare, uh, that this wireless sensors, then health monitoring devices are improved. And we have hospital environment where we are going to have all the uh, set of Wi-Fi devices, IOD devices there. Then uh, disaster response unit is also available. So where we can easily, easily navigate the system using drones and everything. So nowadays in COVID, we can see uh, the sanitizer spread out through, spreading to the areas through the drone and they are monitoring the people, say whether they are roaming or not. So a lot of applications are uh, done through the wireless communication. Then implementation of wireless communication. So where we are going to implement? We have a lot of sessions. So navigation sessions, satellite communication, mobile communication, so cellular network. So, so then media, multimedia systems. Now, and we are going for internet, and then ambulance. Then nowadays we are always going for electrical, electrical uh, vehicles. So we can see here a hotspot in a uh, charging station. So we can have a wireless charges. Then we are using e-payment. Uh, so we, nowadays we are not going for ATM also. We are going for phone pay system, Google pay system. So everything is implemented. It is possible because of wireless communication. And these are a few devices of wireless communication. So where we are going to have a uh, mouse, or Bluetooth headset, Bluetooth keyboards, and uh, we are having mobile phone systems. And again, we are going to have uh, uh, games, joysticks, then earphones, Wi-Fi printers, then PDAs, personal digital assistance. Everything is working under wireless communication. And the frequency ranges, these are the frequency ranges. Already we know, know the range. We started uh, from the RF frequency. These are all the frequency band. The extremely low frequency starts from 3 to 30 hertz and super low frequency from 30 to 300 hertz. 
and very low frequency that is 3 to 30 kilohertz then low frequency so these are the frequency sections and the application is different so wherever the frequency is going to be increased and with respect to the particular frequency the application is going to be there so we are having lot of uh, frequency bands introduced in the wireless communication system according to that we can go for navigation we can go for fm radios we can go for gps system satellite then wireless communication then remote sensing so these are the various applications and what is the block diagram of wireless communication system so already we know what is communication so we are going to share information from one place to another the source can be whatever the information to be shared it can be a voice it can be video signal or it can be an audio signal so whatever the signal it is going to be transmitted from one place to another place so we are going for communications right so transmitter side so whatever the signal it is going to be a moderator so now here we are going for digital modulating system right so like ask psk fsk and we are going for conversion the analog to digital system and where we are having an rf model which is going to act as a transmitter as well as a receiver and here we have a channel wireless medium so it can be a wired medium also but we are going to talk about the wireless medium so again whatever the signal is encoded that is uh, now in the receiver side we are going to decode the information then information is going to be demodulated so analog to digital conversion again we are going to convert to the original signal that is digital to analog again here also we are going to have an order mode rf mode so like our dth okay so we are going to transmit signal from base station to satellite again we are receiving signal from satellite to the base station so whatever the information which is going to be carried as a transmitter and we are the receiver receiving the signal okay so next is why i have given antenna the here without antenna without antenna in that communication system we are not able to communicate right so very very important component for wireless system is going to be an antenna so i have discussed about antenna so what is an antenna okay so antenna is having lot of uh, uh, definitions here i have given few definition so in an electronic parameter for sending and receiving electromagnetic waves already we discussed what is electromagnetic waves where we are going to have the combination of electrical field and magnetic field so because the vibration between the both the fields we are going to get electromagnetic waves and with respect to the uh, phase amplitude as well as the frequency and we are going to uh, transmit the signal from one place to another again we can take it as a mechanical device also which is for radiating and uh, receiving radio waves and uh, again it is can be an intermediate structure between free space and the guiding structure so you can see an antenna here uh, we can transmit and receive signals okay it can also be an electromagnetic transducer so it can transmit and receive the signals okay so in one form of energy can be converted into another form so it can be also a electromagnetic transducer and why it is important so antenna why it is important so already i told we are going to transfer information transfer information from one place to another in wireless communication without antenna which is not possible we cannot be able to transfer information from one place to another right so here we are going to transfer information through an antenna so whatever the transferred signal the transferred signal can be uh, can anything else like what audio video already I told that so it can be an audio signal it can be a video signal so whatever the signal so we are going to transmit so example so i have given here examples so mobile communication wireless networking then we have pds that is personal digital assistance then gps so uh, nowadays we are going for uh, somato right somato ordering anything in swiggy we are tracking the persons whether they have started their journey or not we are using ola so that is a gps system right again lot of peripherals wireless peripherals also we are using and then remote controls so wireless routers rfid tag that is radio frequency identification so i have given a small image here so where an rfid tag so nowadays in every each and every car we are using this rf tag so fast tag so the fast tag is uh, inflated nowadays we are not going to stand for uh, paying uh, amount in the tolling system so the rfid read the tag 
okay so if you are already recharged once you are traveling you are, the tag is automatically deduct your amount there we kept an antenna in the tolls again you have the rfid tag it is scanned and it recorded in the database and automatically the lock is released and we are moving so it is done in a fraction of seconds without any delay it is happening so once uh, antenna here also the antenna is going to be a main factor and we can see the electromagnetic uh, signals so which is going for uh, transmitting signal as well as the receiving data and whatever the data it is going to be recorded in the database so here you can see some laptops or uh, dealings uh, using that we can go for uh, uh, routers uh, connecting the internet to mobile phones as well as the laptop so again a few types of antenna i have given here that is traveling wave antennas lock periodic antennas apache antennas then wire antennas and reflector antennas so why i have given is so without antenna we cannot uh, take any signal we cannot transmit anything else in the wireless system as well as we are having lot of implementationing of wireless so we can implement in telecommunication we can implement in satellite we can implement uh, all the devices in the marine system defense system so once we are going for various application so the designing of antenna is different so what are the frequency of antenna is different so we want to understand so where the particular antenna is used that i have given here so first one is traveling wave antennas so i have given here it is a size of helical helical size antenna so uh, it is used to for satellite and broadband applications communication so satellite communication we can go for helix antenna and the arcuid antenna nowadays you cannot uh, see this so uh, we can come across direct to home we are using dths right so this is an uh, arcuid antenna so in uh, early days doordarshan uh, television communication uses arcuid antenna so where uh, we have uh, multiple dipoles and reflectors here we receive the signals and uh, we uh, we have driven element also which is to convert the signals and it is going for substation signals to receive the signals so now here uh, it can be also used in data system also and we can have in for rfid applications okay so this is what are the traveling wave antennas again a spiral antenna so spiral antennas also we are having for wide band communications and uh, monitoring of speak frequency spectrum so what is the spectrum so where we are going to have a band of frequency so if i am going to take an fm so fm is going to have a band of frequency of 88 megahertz to some 106 megahertz so likewise spectrum where we are going to have some band of frequency we are going to have some low end frequency to higher frequency so wide band communication what is the band so each and every network you have to layer cell whatever network you are using they are going to have a particular spectrum so uh, we can go for the particular band of frequency right so that is what the frequency spectrum now next one is lock periodic antennas so here we are going for high frequency communications again uh, high uh, ultra high frequency then emc that is electromagnetic compatibility so already electromagnetic interference also while wireless communication interference is also going to be a disadvantage right so once uh, i am talking mobile phone in my terrace so if a uh, flight is uh, crossing uh, at the time so i can uh, feel the signal is not there for few seconds okay so if you are in chennai near to gindi or somewhere meenambakkam so uh, or saidapet so if you are uh, speaking a phone your we have flight is crossing you can see the signal blocking there as well as if you are using a dth so dth also uh, if you are having high thunder and lightning so you will not able to receive the signal right so electromagnetic interference is also there uh, again here we can measure the compatibility of any electronic devices so how much uh, the interference can be capable of the devices so this is a lock periodic so structure where we go for high frequency bands so we have a lot of television receptions systems again electronic products also we can measure the electromagnetic compatibility and apache antennas so mostly apache are uh, where we use this antennas in receiving side so here we have slot antennas that is ultra high frequency and microwave frequency so what is microwave frequency is so once we start frequencies from 1 gigahertz 1 gigahertz and above so that frequencies are taken as in microwave frequencies so we can have 
a microwave frequency communication using a slot antenna then horn antenna is also available so already we know what is the structure of horn so usually we we'll, in uh, rural areas we will have this horn uh, type structure to take the audio songs or any functions or anything else we can take this uh, sound for long distance nowadays we cannot it is a uh, band actually nowadays we are going for speakers so that is a structure given here in horn antenna so where we can go for a long distance communication so uh, if you are uh, doing you can do this experiment also using this uh, microwave the test, uh, test bench you can do this horn antenna structure so you can see uh, what is how, how the high frequency is going to be transmitted through the wave guides that is where the high frequency is carried out through the wave guides and we can see the transmitting antenna inside and the receiving antenna so that is the use of horn antennas okay so it is used in radar guns and microwave frequencies so here uh, we can slot antennas can be used in the uh, marine system also then wire antennas so what is a wire antenna so we are going for wire antennas in loop antenna systems it is going for an aircraft directions so where uh, this aircraft is going to be travel so it is also in high, ultra high frequency transmitters so we have uh, radio receivers in high frequency waves so again half wave uh, dipole so it is used in uh, radio as well as television receivers so where we have the wired system here so loop antenna as well as the half wave dipole antennas are used for uh, receivers so receiving sites then reflector antenna so reflector antenna you can see here the satellite dishes reflecting tele telescope then uh, radio telescopes a parabolic structure so already uh, we know dth so we are receiving signal uh, from the satellite to our home right so we are kept in reflecting antennas okay so that is we are going to have a structure of parabolic structure so where we are going to focus a point on the focal point structure so the structure of parabolic uh, which is used to uh, avoid the scattering of signals so that's why the structure is in parabolic okay so if i am going for a linear structure or straight line the receiving uh, signal will not be in a focal point it may be in scattered point you can see the image so parabolic structure avoid scattering so that is what the structure is in parabolic and uh, we have reflector antennas in uh, all these devices like uh, satellite devices then uh, solar uh, then lightning devices then spotlights satellites everywhere we can go for this reflector antennas then corner reflector antennas so it can be used in the x band system and we can use this in navigation and then corner reflectors why we want to go for a uh, corner reflector is sometimes in hill station or anywhere else the antennas cannot uh, able to locate a particular specific uh, place or somewhere so we use a radar signal to communicate to the particular place so we can go for connectivity to the particular base radar systems in a uh, submarine system if uh, you can see lot of uh, uh problems that some aircraft are missing or airplane are missing on the side so we search for the pieces of black boxes with respect to the radar system so there we are using this uh, corner reflectors to uh, navigate the systems and everything so these are the few uh, types of antennas okay so antenna is going to be a very very important parameter in wireless without this we are not going to communicate anything okay so next is evolution of mobile so why we want to go for evolution of mobile is we have in wireless we have lot of evolution so already we started with long distance evolution system where we had uh, uh, started with the small communication then we went for the faxing systems again uh, we went for a lot of uh, uh, emails internets and now we go for android systems likewise if you am going to uh, talk about the generation so talking about the mobile wireless is going to be easy to communicate so right so first we started with 1g so it is a basic analog mobile phone system so where we we all know the cordless phones landline that is the evolution after landline system we went for this cordless phones okay so we have advanced uh, uh, mobile systems there so again uh, it is going to have a very very short Uh, short distance communications in there and 2g system where we went for digital voice processing where gsm is implemented 
that is global system mobile is global system for mobile is implemented here we have gprs so what is gprs is general packet radio service where we have packet switching technology so packet switching technology is introduced as well as edge system so what is the edge system is enhanced data uh, for uh, gsm evolution so enhanced data for gsm evolution these three are implemented in mobile phone so previous mobile phone is also there where we have extended uh, extended antennas so here we cannot see the antenna like uh, this model also like this model also nokia introduced a mobile phone so with the external antenna okay so next 2g in 2g we avoid the external antenna using this technology of gsm and gprs and edge system so edge system is enhanced data for gsm evolution so that is going for 2g system in 1990s and next one is 3g so 3g we went for digitalized what is the digitalized system we have uh, ut utms that is universal mobile telecommunication services introduced we went we have went for coded division multiplexing and we have hsdpa is nothing but high speed downlink packages then high speed uplink packet access then lte is introduced here but not not much utilized here so lte is nothing but a long term evolution antenna right so we improved our voice quality so in this second 2g generation so what is the difference between this 2g and 3g so everyone i don't know whether you have come across of double and double zero mobile phone right so where we have only one parameters if you are going to call someone you can call at that time you cannot go for messaging system okay next uh, you cannot go for a playing system at a time in this phone we can process only one application so that is a 2g system you cannot go for any conference call or anything else there okay so it is going for one voice calling system one system can be accessed here okay that is a system in 2g and 3g system so here we digitalize the parameters we went for uh, systems like conference waiting okay so call waiting is enabled we can go for while talking someone we can go for messaging and you can take contacts here okay so here we had uh, improved session of voice call okay so voice call is improved you can add more people here okay so we went for universal mobile telecommunication system so introduced somewhat somewhat better than the other two systems okay so next one is lte uh, 3g also we went for uh, high, somewhat we improved our speed in system also and 4g so 4g where we used all the parameters right so at a time at a time you can message someone you can play you can hear songs okay uh, again uh, you can use someone's hotspot you can use wifi right lot of application can be run at a time okay so we can have lot of applications running so even if you are getting a call everything can be resumed and once again you are getting inside you can resume all the parameters it cannot be erased so this is a main advance we went for 4g system nowadays we are in, uh, working on 4g so we are enjoying with 4g also so android system that is advanced that is advanced system that is long term evolution antenna is implemented here so where we went for high speeding voice video calls video conferencing so everything is possible using this 4g and 5g so 5g it's like lte advanced pro and yeah like how we are going to see the changes between uh, uh, iphone 13 and iphone max pro right so that is the difference so how speed we improved it and how we visualize the three dimensional view and what are the navigation system is implemented now we can have an ad that mind changing technology is introduced in a car okay so the technology is improved okay mind changing is possible now using that technology a car is implemented right so we have lot of applications in 5g so 3d playing system so while uh, we are having that uh, gagan in our eyes so you can have the 3d structures so you can watch uh, movies in 3d so everything is possible hd quality is improved and the speed is 1 gbps so you can see the difference in speed also okay so the delay is reduced and we are going for high speed system in 5g okay so this is what the ever evolution of wireless network and what is going to be the future 
so again again we are going for searching other what does what is next what is next one already uh, we improved speed lot of speed is improved improved and 4g to 5g also we uh, as fast as we can uh, get the uh, system responding and again once again we are going for increased uh, communication speed there is no uh, shortage in any information sending and we are going for free battery power okay so tons and tons app can you can implement right so nowadays we go for battery saver options so once we are running for a lot of uh, systems we are going for uh, battery saving options we are searching something so if you are a lot of apps are running in our mobile phone it drain our battery as for as soon fast it is also going to be uh, neglected we are going for battery uh, free power if runs we are going to run a tons of app, apps in our phone also the battery consumption will be too low okay so it not going to drain your battery and already the disadvantage of the wireless communication system what we have seen is unauthorized unauthorized and security so in future we are going to have shield technologies right we are going to have rfid shield we are going to protect ourselves we are going to protect all our digitalized So you see these magnetic strips in your credit cards, in your debit card, whatever the uh, highly protected system which is going to have a magnetic shield. Okay, so this is going to be the future wireless technology. So once again, if you are going for uh, next coming coming also the three factors. One is going to be speed, next is going to be a power, and next is going to be a security. These three the process important uh, process or important parameters which is going to be the wireless generation so as we got seen the generation already we improved speed we improved speed and we improved power consumption we improved uh, how much of uh, data we are going to transfer from one place to another and how secure you are going to use that is going to be the parameter and this three is going to be the future technology and future trends okay so now we come across then what is an rf what is wireless then how uh, we communicate and how we communicated the long distance communication then we went for what is antenna and we went for few uh, types of antennas right then we went for generation of mobile phones in wireless technology and uh, we had seen the what is going to be the future technology and now it is going to be a future trends in wireless technology okay so what are the trends okay already we know wifi okay we are enjoying the band of wifi from a 2 gigahertz to some 5 gigahertz we yeah, are wherever we go we use the wifi system okay uh, here we are going to have live wi that is live fidelity technology where we are going to work on the principle of visible light okay so here the light is going to emit a digital values ones and zeros values okay it is going to act as a hub okay where we are going to transfer information from one place to another so we are now going to uh, search for network okay so nowadays even though uh, we have a 4g technology full data package in our mobile phone we are getting internet inter interruptions is there right uh, because we are having lot of obstacles interference emi is high so due to that we will not having the exact uh, exact receiving data because of these interference okay but once we are going for light we are not able to have uh, that much interference and obstacles because it travels too fast compared to other electromagnetic waves right so here we are going to have lot of applications over wifi so because electromagnetic interference right so it is high in wifi system which is not going to happen in the wifi so we can transmit in high speed data again we can avoid the obstacles that is the interference okay because of the interference and my voice is breaking or i am not able to uh, transmit signals or whatever the information if i am going to play a video sometimes the audio will not be there the video will not be uh, clearly displayed because of the resolution problem the antenna uh, obstacles there this is there but in wifi we are going for higher transmission system we are going to avoid uh, uh, electromagnetic interference and the speed speed is increased drastically so we the hacking is also somewhat we will not able to capture the particular timing system because it light travels in speed as possible okay so that is a, a future trend that is a wifi wifi and higher transmission system so here we are going to 
communicate data using a light beams and we are going for emitting pulse right then life a environment we can see here we can have hdb laptops air conditioning so using this led lamps uh, it is going to produce you a lot of data pulses it is going to access the environment okay then iot and wireless sensing so here iot already internet of things you know so where we are going for individual wireless sensors we are going for a lot of sensors so we are going for uh, smart city wireless sensors uh, we are going for lightweight then how we are going to communicate in the systems so this is a top sensor types in iot you can see the accelerometer sensor where we have uh, body acceleration is going to be recorded it can be used for old people and uh, proximity sensor so where we are going to have uh, without touching so without touching anything else we can identify so what is the object is there we can detect an object any without any touching the devices or anything else like uh, self car driving proximity sensor as you all know very well ir sensor which is used in our remote control anything else then gas sensor so leakage of gases and fuels in the industries and uh, everything is can be calculated then temperature sensors as you are well known then chemical sensor can be also used in research labs nowadays chemical is going to play a big role uh, because of other uh, upcoming technologies then smoke sensor can be uh, fixed anywhere in our home automation system then motion detector is also there the motion of any any moving system can be identified so these are the top sensors top sensors in uh, uh, internet of uh, things okay and uh, how cool how we are going for iot right so we are having lot of implementation using this iot that is smart logging everything is going to be smart everything is going to be smart so we are not going to work anywhere so wherever uh, we want to access something is going to be smart right so smart log against we can nowadays in, if you are ordering something in flipkart you can see the five days uh, how the where is the uh, order is now where is the package is now so it is uh, transmitted from hyderabad or something it is to your nearest hub in what time it received to the particular place that is updated so that is also updated in the uh, system that is what a smart log against right so we have lot of uh, smarting system we can track day that timing is also mentioned there with your location is also mentioned there so that is what the smart thing then smart parking smart parking uh, whether the location is there or not here nowadays we are having a, a parking in upstairs second floor third floor everything is there then smart water management then smart health care as we discussed about remote health care system smart wearables nowadays uh, passion of smart watches even we are having a measuring our stress level measuring our heart rate right so everything is uh, there in sport uh, how calories are banned everything is are uh, in smart wearables and uh, smart transportation is also there then smart sustainability smart retail means everything so we are not going to in retail smart uh, retail we are not uh, going for to form a line and we are going to pay the amount so whatever taken the whatever the product you are taken and put in the basket it is taken for your payment calculations that is also implemented in somewhere then smart agricultures so we want to go to the field and we want to search for water level and what about the uh, level of the system but nowadays we are having a smart agriculture system also there we have lot of smart machines to harvesting the systems and uh, smart city already we have discussed is that smart security then smart commerce the smart health system smart mobility then smart citizens then uh, traffic management system so everything is in smart city then again one more trend, trend is going to be a millimeter wave so millimeter wave communication is also a very interesting system so here we are going to have massive mimo antennas so this multi input and multi output antennas are implemented here so where we are having beam steering and beam forming of system so what is beam steering is nothing but we can change the direction of main lobe so main lobe is what we are going to have a high gain of the system so we can change the direction of the system that is the beam steering and beam forming is also there where we are going to have a focusing of signal the signal is going to be narrowed narrowed system it can be transmitted in straight line so that is the main thing of millimeter wave so we are going for a very very uh, powerful technique in communication right so this is all the trends in the millimeter waves we can go for integrated antennas 
as well as we can go for microwave integrated circuits using a lot of gallium arsenide materials then wireless optical fiber cables and cmos and rf is also possible using millimeter waves and integrated communication and sensing system this is also another technology like our uh, we are going to integrate whatever the systems and sensors circuits it is going to be integrated and with the wireless system and we are going for like uh, you can see here an image we are going for a uh, laser camera nozzle everything is integrated in one place for operating some uh, high sensitive operations devices and here we have lot of uh, integrated electronics like flexible integration sensing array and uh, we have lot of uh, integrated uh, sim system healthcare monitoring where we have a sheet system and cnt nano carbon tubes are used for gesture textiles technology ultra flexible sensors are there sunlight observation integrated strain sensor is also there so these are all coming under uh, integrated communication sensing system now so i'm going for we here we have mentioned lot of flexible system so i am introducing your flexible electronics you can see the image so what is flexible electronic system so we are going for transparent materials like polymer uh, poly substrates right so we are going for flexible so we we lot of people are nowadays we are facing our phones right display is gone so we cannot able to change our display it leads more than our mobile value so we are going for flexible which is structural bending and uh, we can have a lot of uh, mechanical strain also in here so which is going it is not going to be affect about any physical strains so flexible electronics are transparent uh, screens and where we use this we have lot of systems here like our mobile phones and uh, we have medical fields display of the system sensors as flexible solar panels memories so nowadays the flexible uh, memories are uh, designed and uh, research in hp laptops they are using this uh, flexible memory systems here these are few electronics flexible electronics and why we want for flexible antennas you can see here the here the system is flexible here the placing of antenna is should be flexible okay so it should not be in solid state device so we want a flexible antenna even though if everything is going to be a wireless communication device we need a important parameter of flexible antenna so i can have uh, rfid tag is also a, there we have a flexible antenna and here it is a lens lens automatic uh, uh, we have uh, sensor there so whatever the uh, problem in a human eye it can be uh, detected autom automatically according to that lens can be very it's a uh, filters then why we want to go for is we are going for large spectrum so already i told you what is spectrum where we are going to have a lowest frequency and high frequency values so here we have this uh, frequency spectrum and we are going for lightweight and compact antennas we are going for high bandwidth and we are uh, trying to reduce the radiation characteristics also right so again the same thing everything uh, in wireless also we went for all those uh, applications like uh, health monitoring and wireless uh, technology here the same thing and we are going for a smart devices with less respect to the flexible devices then flexible antenna can be placed in uh, rfid wearable sensors gps wearable electronics gps tracking antennas everything it can be placed in flexible antenna applications and uh, eeg blood pressures artificial insulin sensor non invasive and non invasive sensors are nowadays available for diabetic patients so we have uh, measuring the sweat analysis also available we should not go we don't want to go for a needle every time and we don't want to pressure blood take our blood we have a lot of technology to measure diabetic systems and this is a procedure we want to take a material we want to characterize we want to design an antenna fabrication and measurement is also there the thing is we should not affect the body human body that is a factor and the selection of material the two parameters is one is conductivity of the material and substrate of the material is very very important and material selections the three two three things one is flexible structural okay so again dielectric constant is also very very important so then how we are going to use this for specific application and where we are going to use it and not alone antenna not alone antenna flexible is going to be in lot of application we can design uh, capacitor we can design inductor we can design contact lens right sensors wherever we want we are going for flexible and structural devices we are using flexible 
electronics so flexible is going to be the future trend and everywhere we can see the flexible equipment in laptops we are going for flip tops you can roll your laptop like a paper and you can carry you don't want to take a 2 kg of laptop in your back and everything so the future is going to be in very very compact than nowadays so these are the few devices like uh, uh, lenses then uh, sensors integrated screens mobile phones laptop screens everything and this is a tattoo where we can have and we don't want to go for a lot of wire sensors electrodes to join in our body to measure the em and eng presence so we can have a tattoo so we with this mounted in your skin we can uh, go for an icu patient also where we don't want to go for the atmosphere creation environmental can be a uh, fact to uh, affect the patient now we can go for a tattoo structure to measure all those things and we have lot of applications patients uh, graphene graphene is also one of a uh, great material wireless uh, 2d material with highly strength compared to other uh, flexible devices and few examples we can go for a lot of battery free printed graphene sensor is also available because battery free is going to be a future technology graphene sensors available and graphene gate so this is going to be a next future also we can have solar panels we can have flexible screens because graphene is going to have the highest mechanical strength compared to other flexible device highest mobility is available so we can go for this uh, structures e paper smart papers and everything and future technologies what are the future technologies we are going for is we have a uh, uh, lot of technologies brain reading robots 3d printed for bones uh, we are going to fabricate a bones for a particular person we can print a bone and we can fix for a person so 3d printed bones are there then virtual reality universes green funnel so nowadays we have to after that we are going for funnels the green panels employed using some chemicals and uh, things we are going for green panels then artificial eyes are already shown you lot of uh, cells uh, lenses and everything then airports and drones flying in taxis then uh, electric uh, storage bricks in construction we are going to have energy storage in bricks and uh, smart power smart watches sweat sweat powered smart watches then ai system then already we have come across ai system like our examination the software and everything artificial intelligence even your right movement and moving of uh, everything it can be monitored and uh, one of the future technology wireless device this is a quick bracelet so this is a bracelet we don't want to carry your mobile phone or anything else it is water resistant even when you are bathing you can wear this uh, bracelet so we are having a, a screen there you can see that right a small lighting system is there so it is going to be uh, Yeah, the, the display is given in your hand, so it is penetrated in your uh, skin, and you can access as a mobile phone. You can go for any apps, whatever you want, like your mobile, phone, right? So this is a great placelet. It is also a wireless device with a 32 gigabit and internal memory is also available with removable battery because this bracelet is having all the structures. And holographic outside display, smart watches. Already we can see this in lot of uh, English uh, movies like Avatar and everything else. There is a holographic outside display. So even a smart watch is going to have this display. So we can have uh, calls, mobile calls, and whatever we can see it is in three D images. Okay, so we'll have an external equipment. We don't want to go for any special glasses, any special wall, anything else. We don't want to go for in any external equipment. So we can see it is an outside display. okay this is possible because of uh, utilization of light diffractions that is a uh, virtual 3d image and smart newspapers so we cannot don't want to go for 10 papers in our hand and we don't want to search what is the places so here the man is happy keeping his hand he can just wipe the screen and he can have uh, uh, can you can you see the image smart newspaper yes yes ma'am yes ma'am Yes. Okay. That is the outside holographic display. Can you able to see the display now? Holographic outside yes. display. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. So smart newspapers. So these are uh, some few uh, wireless technologies. And what is next? Already I had shown you uh, evolution of wireless communication. We started with the small PGN. And uh, we started with uh, fax, uh, Morse code, telephone, landline, internet, email. Now we crossed 5G. Now we are going for 6G. So that is going to be 
uh, the future of wireless communication we are going to 6g again what is going to be the three factors is once we are going for improving our speed we are going for low power consumption we improve the uh, storage capacity and the spectral bandwidth is going to be high without any 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 delay and wherever we are going we are not even going to face any network issues so this is going to be the future wireless communication so this is the vision of uh, 6g and uh, we have the spectra so that is the bandwidth or we are going for terahertz okay terahertz now if, if up to 5g we talk about only gigahertz frequency once you are going for uh, 5g also sometimes we have suffer few applications they have designed terahertz also but in 6g completely we are going for terahertz and millimeter wave communications and optical optical where it is going to be a highly secured communication because optical light signal is going to be travel which is not able to hack okay so we are going for uh, optical communication then strong security so that is going to be a drawback in order the uh, communi communi communication we come across the security system is going to be a great drawback that is a one of the challenge we want to rectify it in our future system so we are going to strong the security in the network layer and the physical layers and uh, full applications we are going for big data big data analysis and artificial intelligence right so cloud computing system here we are not going for cloud computing so in 5g itself we have in a uh, lot of cloud computing we are accessing now we are going for big data okay then global coverage we are going for marine uh, satellite then uav the terrestrial so we are going for global coverage in all factors right so this is going to be a future technology of uh, 6g okay uh, sixth generation vision and 2010 you can see a smartphones then 2020 nowadays we went for a lot of uh, electronic gadgets like smart watch flexible mobile phones and the samsung can uh, release this flexible screen mobile phones where we can foldable system and uh, a display with the refrigerators five star already we watch for five star nowadays uh, uh, even the refrigerators having a lot of iot system that intimates you and smart watches and uh, smart headsets and everything and 2030 you can see that the holographic displays we are not going to carry mobile phone we are not going to carry any laptops we are having a holographic display in the single light is going to be there we have a uh, lot of uh, kagens that is aircraft taxis okay so lot of uh, technology is waiting to enjoy in our future and lot of opportunities also waiting once we are going for uh, going with current trend applications and future scope we are going for uh, trust and integrity in data transmission the fault tolerance that is the drawbacks and uh, improve multiple access already we are seeing the cold division multiple access we have lot of multiple access system also like cdma cdma fdma okay so here we have improved version of multiple access so orthogonal uh, frequency division multiple access system we are using again we are going to introduce some new multiple access system okay which is going to be in high uh, speed communication we are going for physical layer and mac layer with media control layer layers in acoustic so we have a few applications in acoustic underwater research is also going to be implemented okay so the, the non touchable places are mere so already renewable energy in renewable energy they have uh, generating the uh, speed of tides uh, they, are, they are generating electricity right uh, they have some turbines inside the sea the speed of the tides giving the renewable energy so that is uh, one uh, uh, system is implemented already in submarine nowadays underwater communication worldwide communication is going to be implemented so we can see some optical communication underwater system can be india to somewhere and not uh, aware of the exactly the place but implemented okay so underwater through world communication is implemented and efficient location environment we are going for all the traffic not alone the traffic concession other system is also going to be monitored and we have adaptive routing and uh, technical multi hopping systems and advanced time synchronization system so this is what the future scope so we started with what is rf okay so what is electromagnetic that is uh, how we are going to communicate in wireless communication then what is the long distance how the evolution of long distance is done then what is the block diagram for basic block diagram of wireless communication then what is the important parameter is antenna we went for types of antenna 
and we went for what is the future technologies and what few future technology we have discussed here and i have given you future uh, devices also methods also and challenges and i complete uh, this 6g thank you any questions or anything else i want to repeat again you can ask me sir okay ma'am i hope any questions you understood the session uh good evening ma'am yes sir Uh, ma'am, thank you for your wonderful presentation, ma'am. Uh, it's really very good, ma'am. Uh, I have gathered many informations uh, from this presentation. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank uh, you. Seen, uh, we have uh, uh, discussed about the flexible substrates. Yes, sir. So uh, I've seen, uh, I have seen the substrates like FR4 and Dragas Duride normal for the normal papers, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, for the flexible substrates, I have seen uh, polyester, polymides uh, like that. Yes, so sir. So is there any? special substrate uh, for space applications ma'am yes sir. yes sir actually a uh, lot of lot of uh, substrates are there because uh, flexible is not directly made so if i am taking i am selling you a graphene so graphite is a material okay if i am taking a pencil pencil tip right so that is a graphite material okay so i am going to uh, take a graphite to graphene so single layer from that material is taken as single layer single layer from that graphite is taken that is taken as graphene okay sir so likewise lot of lot of materials are used okay in flexible we have to synthesize it properly so if i am going for a space application right so what i am going to concentrate it so what is their the waveforms there and how much my antenna want to tolerate okay so if i am going for a graphene i am telling that it is going to have a high mobility and high strength and high stretchable and likewise so what type of application i am going to use so i am going to use my antenna in satellite okay so i can go for a graphene okay so where there we have some mobility high mobility systems okay sir so we are having lot of devices even we can make a polymide for that particular application where we are going to take the synthesis what is the dielectric constant that is the fact while choosing a material right sir okay ma'am for flexible substrate also we have to go for dielectric constant yes sir everything everything so because uh, if i am going to round uh, if i am going to circle my graphene sheet that is going to be a carbon nanotube can you able to understand can you able to imagine that so if i am going to sheet straightly it is a car graphene sheet if i am going to circle that layer that is going to act as a carbon nanotube so uh, once we are going for uh, applications we have to completely study that particular material whether it is okay for our application or not then we can proceed with the designing okay ma'am okay ma'am uh, ma uh, i have another question ma'am yes sir Um, to work on antennas, uh, is it necessary to study the networks, ma'am? Is it necessary, ma'am? Networks related concepts. Network related concept is uh, that is related to IoT and artificial intelligence, everything. Yes, so, prior to have a detailed study on networks, ma'am, for uh, designing an antenna for some applications. So, networks is right. So, you are talking about routers, hub, and everything. No, ma'am. I am asking about the standards, ma'am. Uh, standards okay standards is common so once you i am going for 8 net not 2.11 so there i am going to have wifi lifi so we have standards for particular frequency right so the particular frequency while designing an antenna we have to take the band okay sir bandwidth so band is very very important so what the, what type of antenna i am going to design whether my antenna is for medical application whether is my antenna is for uh, communication whether my antenna i am going for some other uh, smart uh, sensors so where i am going to place the antenna again the same factor right so i am if i am going to randomly designing an antenna it is producing some 30 gigahertz where to place the antenna that is the factors right so we right. want to go through a proper channel so what is going to my design okay we have lot of softwares to design assimilate an antenna we have hfss we have ansys electronic test bench we have micro studio so these are the uh, simulation uh, software is there 
you can design any type of antenna what i told i have discussed some few antennas here you can design any type of antenna you can see the particular structure and what was the frequency is given for that particular antenna then you can go for uh, the band you can get the band there then you can decide your application so not is necessity first you want to know what is the spec that is the thing so why i want to go for an antenna is also a factor okay ma'am okay ma'am thanks ma'am yes sir good evening ma'am this is charles yes sir uh, actually we are using a cotton or a polyester a jeans any material for us fabricate the antenna for wearable applications okay, uh, how to measure the dielectric constant permittivity value or loss tangent in uh, real time for um, measurements yes one thing is first we want to go for synthesizing okay so synthesizing material is can be done in any chemistry laboratory uh, like uh, uh, first we want to understand the constant the resistivity permittivity and everything else right but uh, if you are directly going for the implementation commercially the sheets are available okay so if you want to buy in graphene or uh, carbon sheets carbon flexible sheets is available and uh, polyester sheets also available polyester material is available okay so if you want to go for direct implementation right so again the fabrication of flexible manually done okay so we are not going for any automation system uh, to uh, design that we are going for inject printing system okay so uh, if you are going to uh, design and flexible press substrate commercially the materials are available or if you want to uh, know the exact we want to go for synthesizing in laboratory sir okay ma'am thank you ma'am Yes. Sir. Any questions? Uh, ma'am, I have another questions, ma'am. Yes. Ah, uh, you have said about the Li-Fi system, ma'am. Yes. So, ah, uh, what kind of measurements are available, ma'am? Measurement systems. Ah, uh, for normally for the antennas, we have anechoic chamber, etc. And for mm -hmm. Li-Fi system, ah, uh, do we have any measurement systems, ma'am, right now? Ah, uh, so measuring ah uh, Li-Fi. So we have a intensity of light. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, so measuring, ah, uh, we have lot of uh, intensity already. We can done for ah uh, uh, wireless technology. We can have the potential emerging channels are there, and then how optical wireless communication is measured, like numerical aperture, the intensity of light. Okay, sir. intensity okay. of light with respect to that how the reflection is taken wavelength of light can be calculated right sir so we how high speed wavelength can be calculated by lambda c by f is can be calculated the speed of light can be calculated right uh, okay intensity of light is also can be calculated sir okay ma'am oh ma'am uh, how to reduce the backward radiation in a uh, wearable antenna ma'am uh, yes uh, backward radiations actually uh, mostly once we are designing we are not uh, that much backward radiations will not go getting that we will get the proper resonating frequency for particular frequency that we have to concentrate we will not uh, go for that much so once you are going for designing an antenna the size is a factor as well as the thickness of substrate and what type of substrate you are using If you are going for a micro strip patch antennas, what uh, kind of patches you are using? Whether it is uniform and the feed is going to be a factor. Uh, you have to go for a proper feeding system for that antenna size, size and thickness. That is the factor, main factor. If you are going to take a proper structure, then it will give you a good results. Yeah, and the antenna will resonate properly. You will have to concentrate on all the boundary conditions, all the uh, feeding system points, and everything is in factor, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Any questions? Thanks. Good morning, Nathan sir. sir you can uh, you can have that video for your students if time permits you can go ahead and otherwise you can have it for later sir ah uh, danjan sir am i audible yes sir yes sir yes sir ma'am i will share the video to the students ma'am yes okay sir okay okay sir uh, okay ma'am okay ma'am okay sir
wait for mari sir you start ah okay uh, good evening to everyone now we have reached to an end of the online seminar it gives me an immense pleasure to propose a vote of thanks for today's online seminar on behalf of the ec department i extend my heartiest thanks to our resource person ms rm sendil priya assistant professor ece rmd engineering college chennai to take out time from her busy schedule to grace this online seminar thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you thank you for your inspiring and trending speech about rf for future wireless communications that started from origin of communication evolution of communication classif and classified the ionized and non ionized radiation future communication of wifi iot and its application and then types of sensors with real time examples and then millimeter wave communication optical fiber communication cmos in rf field and then integrated communication and the sensing systems and introduction to flexible electron electronics and flexible antennas and materials selection for the flexible antennas and battery free technology and future technology like brain reading robots 3d printed bones and finally concluded with 6g a special thanks to our management principal sir and vice principal sir for providing continuous support and guidance i extend my gratitude to professor dr komala james ma'am head of the department for her immense pleasure to make the online seminar successful one i extend my sincere thanks to our faculty members who have joined in this online seminar and our heartfelt thanks to our students for the active participation thank you thank you all danjan sir okay sir okay sir. Are you taking uh, any snaps, sir? Nanjan, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, okay. You will write it, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ah, uh, Sadil Priya, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Dhanajayan sir, Mar Rajan sir. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Ramesh sir. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Good night, all. Thank you, Dhanajayan sir. Thank you, Mar Rajan sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Prasanna sir. Thank you.